guys, it's Cookie again with another ROM review and this time I've got OmniROM 4.4 KitKat for Galaxy S3. Yes, I'm excited. It's uh, already time. KitKat's available for S3. May not be the best ROM for now, but it is getting there. It's really awesome. So let's get into the ROM. Uh, here is the lock screen, which is kind of same as the previous versions of Android, but with a bit of a cosmetic touch to it. Um, here is the lock ring and lock ring with the battery battery indicator there. You can enable or disable that in the settings menu. I get to that later. So let's unlock it now. Here is the Google Experience Launcher, which is the new launcher the Google uh, is pushing with the uh, Nexus 5. So it has a bunch of features like the OK Google thing. Uh, you can just utter the words OK Google and it will listen to you. That's something kind of like the Moto X, what Moto X has done. It's really awesome. I really like this feature. I kind of just keep it uh, somewhere and just uh, ask OK Google just search for this thing and it does work so that's really neat now if you go to the left if you swipe to the left there is Google now so you have to enable Google now for that if you enable that you have this option here which is a quick uh, shortcut to Google now uh, it displays whatever you need it displays traffic information it displays weather information it currently displaying my position and uh, six minutes to hold whatever uh, whatever it is it's really neat okay so let's get into the launcher okay now you have all these apps uh, I have tested the root functionality it does have root if you uh, something uh, to keep in mind uh, if you change the runtime to ART the root doesn't work so you are stuck with Dalvik for now but that's okay you can use that in any way possible so yeah let's get into settings so it's all KitKat. Most of the features were off KitKat. You already know from various various sources. These are the settings menu. Let's go to About Phone. In the About Phone, you can see it is Android 4.4 KitKat. Let's see the K. Awesome. Uh, if you long press it, you have the Android KitKat, and if you again long press it, you'll have the the series of operating systems which uh, Android has gone through. So. Yeah, it's kind of an easter egg. It's really neat. Awesome feature. Okay. You can see Omni version 4.4, 12, 11 nightly. So it's the latest version which I got of. Um, build number. Okay. These, these, these are there. It does work. Okay. One thing which I want to mention is that the signal is showing one bar, right? So I think that's kind of a problem. Um, not a problem exactly. It does. I can make calls and I do receive texts. But uh, sometimes uh, where I should be getting full range, uh, I don't get full range. So I think signal is now on the lower side. It will be getting better. I, I presume I do know that. So uh, with the other settings, you have the normal settings here. Uh, you can change the default. Uh, SMS app here you have the hangouts which is the latest one the latest feature of this ROM this uh, operating system the Android so you can change it to messaging app if you are comfortable with that so it does it doesn't force you into it NFC all these features you have a mobile data plan if your um, career carrier supports it okay now uh, in case of interface you have these two controls that you have brightness control you can slide uh, your finger across the status bar and change the brightness control. It's neat. Uh, show notification count, that also is a, one option here. Uh, rest of them are fairly similar to other versions of Android, nothing uh, too flashy or something like that. Notification light, you have um, custom values. You can have custom values here. You can add it to application. Pretty uh, awesome features to have. Uh, these are similar to whatever the previous Android versions has given us. Storage, it, uh, the SDXD does work, so if you're wondering for that, it does work. Battery life, okay, battery life is something I'm a bit skeptical about. It is still in the uh, beta version or whatever version it is. It uh, hasn't given up on me anything, but uh, yeah, battery life is not the best right now. I've heard that with ART version, with ART runtime, it, the battery life gives more. 
so uh, I didn't test that exactly because root is actually really important for me so I have been running on Dalvik for uh, all the time uh, apps you similar okay um, location settings you have all these security okay you can change the screen lock uh, to all these it's uh, similar to the old Android versions so you don't have something uh, you won't be in the dark regarding that okay. uh, I have flashed the PAG apps that is Panel Android G apps 11 11 2013 version 4.4 so that might be the reason you are seeing a lot of apps here so yeah I just want to clarify that what else okay uh, developer options you can see uh, I have uh, these options available here is where you will be changing the runtime okay if you want to use ART and if you don't care much about boot you can use ART and it will reboot uh, load all your apps again you can use the ART function so uh, if you want that and forget about root, it's your choice. Okay, uh, one thing I not want to clarify is that if you are, if you want to use root, uh, after flashing the ROM, you have to reflash uh, SuperSU script. Okay, the update version, the update SuperSU 1.65, you have to flash that to have the root functionality. I tried to install uh, Titanium Backup and it didn't get it, so I had to flash this thing. So some kind of a tip. If you want to use that uh, one problem which I face is that with the camera first time when I booted it up uh, I tried to fire up camera it just rebooted so well it was just one time and I think uh, it was some kind of a small bug or something but camera does work no problems there let's start yeah the cameras just work as I've said pretty awesome uh, it's hard to believe that even in the in the uh, primitive version it's really awesomely working it's a functioning version of the latest Android version on the s3 so that's miles above whatever I want so it's really awesome uh, thing to have so yeah I think that is it about the ROM let me show you guys the boot animation of Omni ROM so here is the Omni ROM boot animation which is the Omni with the Android peeking out and whatever this is it's an awesome good animation. It's well, it's less about OmniRom and more about KitKat for me because KitKat, I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh, I have uh, mentioned that in the KitKat Experience ROM also. I've been impatient with this, but now it's out there. This is going to be my daily driver, and it's uh, it's capable of being a daily driver for any of you. So just want to clarify that. Um, I think that is it about the ROM. Uh, this is not about the Omni ROM mainly. This was more about the KitKat version available for S3. About the Omni ROM, you can read about that because it's available everywhere. A bunch of developers got together to make a um, unique ROM. I believe a ROM which is available for a bunch of devices. So this is it. So yeah, it is an AOSP based ROM, so you won't get all the bells and whistles of uh, CI Engine Mod or AOKP or something like that. CM11 is in work as of now. I just want to say that I have tried out the preview, the unofficial CM11 preview by Tamasic, and it also works perfectly. But the ART, if you switch to ART, it just force closes uh, everything. So. Uh, it's not there yet. I will be making something about it. So, yeah, I guess that is it about the ROM. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share the video if you found it useful. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.